Good morning guys. Well, I got up today and I decided today was moving day. <laughs> no plans, just ready to go. And guess what? <laughs> Dead battery. So I have been fighting. Uh, it's been cloudy the last three days and I've been fighting. Keeping my batteries charged. I've ran my truck some and um i should have disconnected the camper from the truck there's a lesson lesson number one <laughs> um so right now sammy quit so i may not be leaving today may i don't know may not but what i'm doing right now since we have sun is i'm charging my battery on my truck with my solar panel <laughs> so here's my solar panel let's see ah, shows 15 volts 6.7 amps coming in 14.4 52% I'm wondering if I could I should try it let me try it just because it's getting so much Hey, hey. <laughs> it is moving day. I got a little flustered, <laughs> but I'm all right now. Because if I had to stay here, who cares? I got food, I got water. I got everything, I can, I can stay here. My fresh water tank is full. So I could stay here another week, but um, I decided I was going to go to a national park. There's two things. I have a battery jumper. Is it with me? No. So I'm going to get that when I go back to my off-grid cabin. And also I'm going to get some longer jumper cables because I could jump my truck off from these batteries if these batteries are charged. So, I need to plug the camper back in. Camper lights. Ah. So as the sun is going down, of course, I'm not receiving as much solar and that is what my battery is reading. 10.3. Yep, that's the problem. Let me show you this too. So that's like one light for the battery right here. Yep, dead, dead, dead. Usually in the morning, there's about three lights. Which obviously that's showing me the combination of my truck battery and my house batteries. So this is no truck battery, just house batteries. And they're dead. And I've had them charging. So I'm going to have to replace my batteries. And it's dropping 8.5. <laughs> oh. I may have to plug in my truck battery just to keep my refrigerator going. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Yep, it says check. So I'm going to go plug in my truck battery now. Or just shut the whole thing off. But I think it can run the truck battery because it's been doing it for a long time. <laughs> hey, I plugged in my truck to the camper and that's not good but i'll take it for now 12.7 <sighs> just to keep the refrigerator running i guess i don't know maybe i should shut the refrigerator down anyway i'll monitor and see how it goes all right i did not film uh me getting new batteries but 
it ended up being my batteries were dead on my camper and basically draining my truck batteries I have two truck batteries so um, I did stop in to I'm gonna say this wrong Buena Vista I think it's Buena, Buena Vista in Colorado at a car quest and purchased two new batteries and I installed them there in the parking lot so um, I did not film that I was right on the edge of the street and uh, was up on my ladder and I just needed to get it done um, and then after that I went to a KOA and spent the night there um, one night they gave me the opportunity to charge my batteries real good before I hit the road again and uh, boondocking or boondock so anyway everything is good everything's back to well it's even better than normal now <laughs> I've noticed my water pump runs faster interesting but anyway um, so that'll bring you up to speed on that and uh, I am at an RV park right now um, visiting with some friends so anyway I am gonna get off here and talk at y'all later mm -hmm.